Now within Pipedream, we support Playwright and Puppeteer natively within your workflows. That means you can use an actual headless Chrome instance and automate submitting forms, scraping websites, interacting with JavaScript heavy web pages without leveraging an API in between. First, in our new workflow, we're going to take a screenshot of the Pipedream homepage. To get started, just select Take a Screenshot and enter in the URL you'd like to take a screenshot of. This can either save the file to temp or return a base64 encoded string. Then you can use this in an additional step to upload to an image host. In this case, I'm going to use Imgur and I'm just going to simply pipe the screenshot we took using Puppeteer and then upload an image to Imgur. It's really that simple. To use Puppeteer or Playwright in Node.js code step, simply import our special package that's at Pipedreams slash browsers. This package contains the specific versions of Playwright and Puppeteer and Chromium that are compatible with the Pipedream execution environment. So you don't need to worry about starting a headless Chrome instance and passing all the special options. Just import the package, launch the browser, and you can start navigating with a headless Chrome instance and render the entire page, including JavaScript. And yes, this is compatible with the built-in AI assisted code generation feature. Simply search for Puppeteer or Playwright, then select Use AI with Puppeteer. Then you can enter a prompt to perform Puppeteer actions. Please generate a PDF of pipedream.com slash blog. If we want a PDF of our blog, then this will generate the code needed to instantiate a new browser, get a PDF, and download it to the temp directory within your workflow. One special note, Chrome is a very uh, RAM intensive application, as you may know. So we recommend updating your workflow settings to uh, at least two gigs at the time of the recording, just for best performance.